Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jonathan and today we're going to be talking about military expectations. Things you should expect once you finish your training and you're actually doing your job at your first base. So for the most part, most jobs are eight to five, Monday through Friday, or seven to four, Monday through Friday, weekends off, uh, because they're office jobs. Depending on your job, if it's maintenance, medical, security, or some kind of uh, like IT systems, you might work 24 seven. Um, but for the most part, the majority of the jobs are office jobs that are Monday through Friday. Along with that, you will have people from all over the world. The military brings a lot of people from all over the place and it doesn't make them perfect. It doesn't make them great people. It just means that they're in the military working with you. So you might agree with some of them or disagree with some of them and you might get into arguments. You might not like the people that you work under. Uh, sometimes management will suck just like any job. Management always sucks, you know, uh, we, we never like management. So in the military, uh, these people that have joined before you have ranked up and they are just in leadership positions that they have to make decisions that control your life. So you might not like that. And if you don't like that, you just give it some time, they will move on or you will find a new base or if it's a small career field, you might be stuck with them for a little bit, but don't let that make you bitter or anything like that. Just do your best at your job and continue focusing on your mission because opportunities will come up and you will be able to move or leave that situation. You will also rank up eventually and you might have that position later on so you will know what to do and what you didn't like. Just like regular life, the military life also has problems. So you will have life problems just like anything else. Uh, you will have to pay your bills, you will have to, your car will break down, your kids will have to go to school, your kids will get sick. Uh, if you don't have kids, maybe you have a pet. So life doesn't stop because you're in the military and whatever you make out of it, it's what you will get. One thing that it's unique to the military is moving around and with that comes making friends all the time. So eventually you will leave or your friends will leave or maybe you find a new position somewhere else and you have to go there and you will have to make friends all the time that, that you move because your friends don't come with you. So you might have your little circle of friends that you really like and you like um, going out to the beach with or, or whatever. And suddenly they're not there and you have to make new friends. So expect to have short relationships when it comes to, to friends and, and things like that because eventually everyone in the military moves on. They either get out or or you will get out and you will go somewhere. So they will stay your friends, but you will not see them every day like you used to. Not everything is bad in the military. Also, there are good things. Uh, you will have a new career, you have a new skill set, you will have new benefits. So all those things come along with the military and those are expectations you should have as well. So once you finish your training, you should focus on continuing your degree, get your new certifications, new things. So expect to grow as a person and as well in your career when you join the military. If you choose to excel, you just have to keep, keep at it, keep learning new things. But if you just wanna join and, and not do anything and just do your four years or six years and get out, also, um, you can do that. Another thing that you should expect is to not do your job 24 seven. Sometimes you'll have to do special training, so you might be volunteer for stuff, you might have to do retirement ceremonies, you might have to do commander's calls, uh, go be the secretary for the commander, or, or a lot of different things, you know? You might have to uh, be the physical training leader or, be an instructor for something so expect to do things that have nothing to do with your job and they will only make you better uh, some things you just have to do in order to look good and, and put it on your performance report at the end of the year so expect to do that along with that also expect to do volunteer work outside of work maybe on like a weekend or something because every year you have to do a performance report starting as a senior airman and it will uh, require you to do some volunteer or some kind of schoolwork or some kind of thing that you did outside of your job to make you look good. So that's just how the military is. You just have to do it. And our performance report is not perfect. And just go check a box. So embrace the suck and go do it. 
All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully, this gives you some insights of things that you should think about before joining the military. Also, if you want to support this channel, hit the like button, subscribe. If you want me to talk about anything specific, leave it in the comments below. Also, check out the links in my description and add me on the social media or send me an email. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Until next time.